What's up? Mark engineers! For today, we are going to talk about grab implementation in Python. Just keep watching! Enjoy! And now, we will discuss all about grabs in data structure using Python language. First, what is grab? A grab is a pictorial representation of a set of objects where some pairs of objects are connected by links. The interconnected objects are represented by points termed as vertices and the links that connect the vertices are called edges. The various terms and functionalities associated with a group is described in a great detail in our tutorial here. In this chapter, we are going to see how to create a group and add various data elements to it using a Python program. Following are the basic operations we perform on graphs. First is display graph vertices. Display graph edges. Third is add a vertex. Fourth is add an edge. And fifth is creating a graph. A graph can be easily represented using the Python dictionary data types. We represent the vertices as the keys of the dictionary and the connected between the vertices are called edges as the values in a dictionary. Normally, a graph is a pair of sets V and E, where V is the set of vertices and E is the set of edges, connecting the pairs of vertices. Take a look at the following graph. In the above graph, V is equal to the set of A, B, C, D, and E. E is equal to the set of A, B, A, C, B, D, C, D, and D, E. Graph Data Structure Mathematical graphs can be presented in a data structure. We can represent a graph using an array of vertices and a two-dimensional array of edges. Before we proceed further, Let's familiarize ourselves with some important terms. First is vertex. Each node of the graph is represented as a vertex. An example given below, labeled circle represents vertices. So A to G are vertices. We can represent them using an array as shown in image below. Here, A can be identified by index 0. B can be identified using index 1 and so on. Next is edge. Edge represents a path between two vertices or a line between two vertices. An example given below, lines from A to B, B to C, and so on represents edges. We can use a two-dimensional array to represent array as shown in image below. Here, AB can be represented as 1 at row 0, column 1, BC as 1 at row 1, column 2, and so on, keeping other combinations as 0. Adjacency Two nodes or vertices are adjacent if they are connected to each other other through an edge. An example given below, B is adjacent to A, C is adjacent to B, and so on. Next is path. Path represents a sequence of edges between two vertices. An example given below, A, B, C, D represents a path from A to D. Operations. Following our basic primary operations of a graph, which are following. First is add vertex. Add a vertex to a graph. Add edge. Add an edge between two vertices of a graph. Display vertex. Display a vertex of a graph. And now, we will show you a console program of a graph. Take a look at the following graph. First is in the above graph. V is equal to A, 
B, C, D, and E. E is equal to set of A, B, A, C, B, D, C, D, and D, E. We can present this graph in a Python program as below. Create a dictionary with the graph elements. It is here. And print the graph. When the above code is executed, it produces the following result. Display graph vertices. To display the graph vertices, we simply find the keys of the graph dictionary. We use the keys method. Here is the class graph. Get the keys of the following dictionary. Create a dictionary with the graph elements. When the above code is executed, it produces the following result. Next is display graph edges. Finding the graph edges is little trickier than vertices as we have to find each of the pairs of the vertices which have an edge in between them. So, we create an empty list of edges, then iterate through the edge values associated with each of the vertices. A list is formed containing the distinct group of edges found from the vertices. Here is the class graph. Find the distinct list of edges. Create a dictionary with graph elements. When the above code is executed, it produces the following result. Adding a vertex. Adding a vertex is straightforward where we add another additional key to the graph dictionary. Class graph. Add the vertex as a key. Create a dictionary with the graph elements. Here is the code. When the above code is executed, it produces the following result. Adding an edge. Adding an edge to an existing graph involves treating the new vertex as a tuple and validating if the edge is already present. If not, then the edge is added. And here is the code. When the above code is executed, it produces the following result. We hope, we hope you learned something from us. Bye-bye. See you next.